everyone, welcome back to Adrian Has Bees. So today it's actually been two weeks since we put uh, Formic Pro in all three of the hives. So today we're going to go out and get out any remnants of those uh, Formic Pro um, chemical pads that are in there. I'm going to put some feed in there. I'm going to give them some pollen patties to hopefully encourage more growth. And we're also going to see if we can find the queens to check on those. There, um, if things go really, really well, I may actually do another mic test on London just to see if, uh, if we've had any effect with that Formic Pro and see if it maybe needs another treatment. So we will see. Thanks for coming along on the journey, everyone. I'll also show you some footage just of the beehives and how well they seem to be doing. There seems to be a lot of activity on all three hives, so I'm quite pleased after the Formic Pro treatment. I was a little nervous with that because um, it was at the upper end of the temperature range for Formic Pro um, when I put that on. But thanks for coming along and you'll check it out with me. I tell you what, holding on to my hive tools seems to be a challenge each and every day. But boy, they do get gunked up with all the propolis. Alright, we'll set that one off to the side there. I'm doing this without gloves for the moment because hoping to find the queen and mark her which should could be kind of tricky if I was wearing gloves so just counting, oh goodness I have uh, I only have nine honey frames in this one which is what I had planned on doing for the actual uh, honey harvest. of honey there but not on the very outside that's okay Nice honey frame there. Just looking. There's no brood on the top there, so I think it's safe to say the queen is not likely to be up here. We are going to just remove this honey super. Hello ladies. Let me in. Seeing some dead bees just 
around the edge. Don't know if that might be from the Formic Pro or something else. First frame seems to be well stocked with honey. Second frame, a little bit of honey did be there. Didn't just kill it, I'm confident. cell. Interesting. That appears to be that appears to be all pollen. set that one out here too because I can start to see the Formic Pro pad underneath there. I'm not seeing very many drones this time. Oh, I said that and then there's one right there. That's okay. I believe this next frame is where I found the queen the last time. Give a little more smoke. Seeing some brood, both capped and uncapped. Okay, I think that's a sign that Adrian should let them go. Dummy.
Here are the Formic Pro patties. Oh man, they're coming in with some pollen still. That's good. Gotta put the pollen patty on, don't we? Okay, well, we didn't take the time to see the queen, but we got a pollen patty on, we got the old stuff out. Whew, that's a lot of work.
guessing there must be uh, some honey on that wax that I just left there. Because those bees are going crazy for it. That was just burr comb that I thought I was cleaning off, but obviously some of it has honey. Now I'm going to have to do something with these gaps too for winter, because you can see it's a gap that's almost big enough for a bee to fit through, but not quite. But it's certainly going to allow some cold weather to get through, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to seal that up yet, but I will. I will do it one way or another. Maybe some duct tape or an insulation board over it. We'll see. Anyway, I'm not going to take my uh, hood off now because I got these bees so riled up today. But I took out the Formic Pro, did not notice any queens, but I didn't really have time to uh, mess with them um, and look for them at this point. I just wanted to get those Formic Pro pads out of there and get some regular feed back in there. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna have to go mix up some more sugar water for London and La Paz, but we'll get that done soon. And I hope everyone's having a great October. I tell you, I, I spent this weekend up in the mountains and had just a fantastic time. You can see just over the horizon there, some of the mountains. Saw some leaves changing colors. Maybe I'll uh, include a picture or two that I took up near um, St. Elmo in Colorado, a ghost town up there. It's very cool, very cool. Recommend going to see it, anyone who uh, is in this area. So thanks everyone. Take care, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching, Adrian has bees. Bye for now.